here in China, where spacecraft Shenzhou 8 is now ready to dock with the China's space lab already orbiting the Earth. The craft has changed orbit five times and is now on the right path to meet Tiangong 1 later today. Wang Xinye has the details. Far above the Earth, Shenzhou 8 is now ready to rendezvous with Tiangong 1. The space lab is waiting for the spacecraft, orbiting the planet at an altitude of 343 kilometers. We consider the need for an emergency re-entry when we decide the orbits the craft will follow. We have plenty of backup plans so that Shenzhen 8 can return at any moment if anything goes wrong. This gives us a lot of control over the spacecraft. To rendezvous with the space lab, Shenzhou 8 needs to reach a near-circle orbit and come within only 52 kilometers from it. During the docking procedure, Shenzhou 8 will use its thrusters to move backwards and sideways. These thrusters are crucial to docking. They give us full control over the spacecraft. In case something goes wrong, the thrust reversers can push the craft away. This can avoid a crash. It's a must. Shenzhou 8 is now on schedule, and the docking procedure will begin early Thursday morning. Both vehicles will fly together for 12 days. Then they will separate, and the procedure will be tried for a second time. Practice makes perfect. Wang Xinye, CCTV. And we have a reporter, Shen Lu, who is standing by at the Aerospace Command and Control Center in Beijing. Hello, Shen Lu. Now, uh, can you Hi. brief us? about the equipment and material on board and what are the scientists going to do next? What is the procedure? Right. Uh, the relative distance of the two spacecraft, Shenzhou 8 and Tiangong 1, has been reduced to around 60 kilometers. And um, uh, the actual final docking sequence will uh, take place about uh, in about one hour. And after docking, uh, a group of Chinese and German scientists will be able to conduct life science experiments in space, about 17 of them. Uh, mostly it involves plant seas and also equipment needed to track the space environment. The plant seas will be exposed to uh, microgravity and um, uh, space radiation. Now, um, once they've conducted the experiments in space, uh, the Shenzhou 8 will uh, will return to the surface and of course the plant and uh, equipment and records will be preserved in the return pod. Scientists will be able to uh, retrieve them and conduct further studies. Back to you. Thank you very much Shen Lu for your update. I'm sure we'll be speaking soon. We will have uh, live coverage tonight on what's happening in space with Shen Lu, uh, with um, uh, the space. Now let's move on.